Can you just move in? Can we just get married? Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated, okay? You are so appreciated, darling. Thank you so much and welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you four for four, four fragrances for four different seasons. That's not the catcher though. The catcher is I actually have eight fragrances. And some might be saying, well, why you have eight if you said it's a four for four? Because I heard you in the comments section and you said, I love these fragrances, but it would be so nice if you had some affordable options. So I have four fragrances for four different seasons, affordable and some on the higher end, but either way it goes, everybody will be able to purchase and take something from this video. You guys, I cannot stop smiling because I am super excited to see you as I always am. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous. So if that sounds like something that you would be into, go ahead and take 2.5 seconds, hit the subscribe button, don't stop there. Go ahead and hit the notification bell and come over and connect with me on Instagram because whenever I'm not over here, I'm always on Instagram. Okay, you guys, right out the gate, we are going right in, but you already know I have a 2.5. Okay, so I've been reading the comments in the comment section and somebody was like, oh my gosh, girl, I love your channel. And she was like, I watch you all the time and I did not even know that I wasn't subscribed. She said, I thought I was subscribed, but when I looked down, I realized that I wasn't. So I'm gonna need you, okay, you guys? I'm gonna need you to look down and make sure that you are subscribed. If you wanna ensure that you are subscribed, just make sure where it's normally red, it's great, or red, it's red, girl, red. Where it's normally red and it says subscribe, make sure it turns gray. That way you'll be subscribed to the channel. Okay, we're jumping right in. We are going to start with winter. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Wasn't that a song? I'm starting with winter. So right now, today, and I try to get all fragrances that you guys wouldn't suspect because I know I'm, you know, I like what I like, so I share a lot of the same things, but I did try and mix it up today. So start, okay, this one's not far from the thing, but starting with winter, I'm gonna choose how did this hair, okay? <laughs> Don't ask, I'll tell you later, I'll tell you later. Anyways, I'm starting with Hal DeFetti. I absolutely love this fragrance. It is a rich, classy, boss fragrance. Man, woman, boy, child, human can pull up and rock this fragrance. It is simply amazing. The bottle, the packaging, the presentation, it screams class, elegance, and luxury, darling. And if I had to rock something all winter long, I would reach for Hal DeFetti. This is by Pin Halligan. Of course, I'll give you a few of the notes and then we'll move on. You guys, it is a warm, spicy. It is very, very, very long lasting. Whether you get it on your clothes or your body, it is gonna stick with you until the end of time. It is one that is not going to disappear. Rich vibes, class vibes, luxe vibes. I put down here on my notes, it's good, good. It is a oud woody fragrance in my opinion. It's a warm spicy, it has tonka bean vanilla, it also has musk. In the base it has cedar, leather, and amber. So if you are looking for a good year round fragrance for, I shouldn't say year round, but a good year fragrance for winter for year round, I would recommend Hal DeFetti. I move on. Let's say you're like, girl, I don't wanna be breaking the bank. Okay, well Hal DeFetti. You guys, you know another amazing fragrance by Salvatore Ferragamo, this Mysteriosa. This one here, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. This one looks a little bit different because it is in the limited edition bottle, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And I believe I picked this up for like under $30. I picked it up at one of the rack stores. I can't remember which one, but you can try TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Ross, or even uh, Nordstrom's Rack. That's where you can find amazing fragrances at a fraction of the price. This one is really good too. I don't reach for this often because I don't know why I don't, I just haven't. But you guys, it's sexy. This would be an amazing, affordable, everyday, signature scent worthy um, winter fragrance. Fragrance for winter. It's a 2016 release. As I stated, this is a limited edition bottle. Blackberries, two rolls, orange blossom. It's an oriental fragrance. It's very seductive. It's very sexy. It's moderate when it comes to longevity. It is going to give you a good six and a half, seven hours. So it's going to stay there. If you're in it a little bit longer than that, then maybe spray a little heavier and definitely spray your clothes. That is winter affordable. I move on. So after winter comes spring. 
My spring choice would be this one here. This is by the House of Parfums Jamali, and this is Meliora. I talked to so many of you about this fragrance. It is absolutely beautiful, it is gorgeous. I've had it in my collection a very short time, and it hadn't even been spring yet, and I had already put a dent in it. That just goes to show you how good it is. It's very refreshing. Um, it's a very berry-esque fragrance, as I always say, fruity, rose, uh, it has some berries, raspberries, it has rose, ylang ylang. It also has lily of the valley. Down in the base, you have your vanilla and your musk. This is one that I cannot waste to spray on paper. This is so good and it's so refreshing. It's light, it's airy. It is not a beast when it comes to projection or longevity. You will smell it for about two and a half, three hours in arm's length if you were to do something like that. It's moderate. I would say a good six and a half, maybe seven hours if you're pushing it. You must spray heavy and you would want to spray your clothes. It's very inviting. Where would you wear this to? Brunch, church, anywhere of the sort. Shopping, a girl's day. Um, do you get sexy? It's a pretty girl kind of sexy. You know what I mean? It's not our hot and heavy oud and, you know, leathery oak moss, saffron, it's none of that kind of sexy. But it is a very pretty girl, pretty woman, sexy fragrance. And that is Parfums de Mali Miliora. I move on. Now sticking with the house, because I said affordable, sticking with the house of Salvatore for Agamo would be this one here. And I believe this one is called Fiori. I could be making that up, in Fiori. And I think that means something about rose or flower. You guys don't get me to making stuff up, okay? But this is a beautiful one. And the reason that I chose these from Ferragamo is because I think the bottles are pretty and I think they look nice on any vanity. If you were to get it, you wanted something affordable but didn't break the bank, still looked pretty on your vanity, still would make you feel very happy to get up and spray. I did wear this and play with this the other night and I was pleasantly surprised because like I said, I don't reach for it a lot, but when it comes spring, and I'm just going out running errands or doing something like that, I do reach for this and it's really good. This is a very fruity floral fragrance. Um, it's fresh, it has sandalwood down in the base, pear, it has cherry blossom, jasmine musk, it is pretty. The thing about this that's not my favorite, but a lot of you would probably like it, is that it's really sweet. Um, it gives me kind of, I don't spray this one too heavy because it'll give me a headache, but it is a beautiful fragrance, but in my opinion, it is very, very sweet, but it is very affordable, and you can pick this up at some of the rack stores as well. I picked it up at the same time that I picked this up, and I even picked up a few more. They're just good, easy reach, and this would be perfect for spring, and it wouldn't break the bank. I move on. now. If you've been watching the video for any, if, oh, if you've been watching the video, if you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, you know that Tom Ford Soleil Blanc is my absolute favorite when it comes to fragrances. I actually started my fragrance channel uh, doing a full dedicated review way, way back. Okay, you guys, way back. Okay, and don't judge me if you go back there because I tell you guys all the time. I don't know what happened. Another quick 2.5. When I first moved back to LA, I used to talk with like so such Valley Girl. Like, oh my God, you guys, this fragrance is so amazing. And I'm like, girl, what is going on? Thank God that phase is over. But anyways, if you go back and find some of my old videos, I talk like that, don't judge me. It was where I was at that point. At this point, I'm here. But anyways, yeah, so my favorite fragrance was Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. This time, I did not choose that for a perfect reason, because I always do. I reach for something different. I reach for Sacred Water by The Harmonist. And if you watch the channel, you know I did a collaboration video with them and they gifted me this fragrance and I absolutely love it. And it's so refreshing. It's so beautiful. It's so upbeat. It's so happy-go-lucky. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance for spring and summer. And I just, when I sprayed this fragrance, when they first sent it over you guys, I was like in love. I was obsessed. Yes, it's so good. Oh God, I don't even have any. That's why I don't take the cap. Oh, should I wear this today? Gosh, it's good. If you want something fresh, clean, watery even, airy, luxurious, timeless, um, day, night, or evening, pretty long lasting, a good six and a half, seven hours, moderate I would say, this would be a way to go. Citron, mandarin, ginger, it has orange blossom, amber, cedar, just a few of the notes, you guys. You cannot go wrong with the Harmonist, and like I said, this is sacred water. I have ordered a few more, so I am expecting those to come in the mail. But yeah, this right here is good, good. I move on. This is Mew Mew. 
<laughs> I love saying that name. This is Mew Mew. It's a 2017 release. This is green, rose, it's musky. A few of the keynotes is patchouli. It has lily of the valley, honeysuckle. It is perfect for spring, perfect for summer. You can pick this up at Sephora. Um, it will not break the bank, okay? You can get a small size. That's another way that you can always save money when shopping for fragrances. If you have a vast collection or a very large collection and it makes sense and you're gonna save a few dollars, I would opt and go for the smaller size, especially with myself nowadays, unless it's a really, really huge savings or steal or something like that. I always opt for the smaller bottles because I have so many, I'm probably not gonna fully get through it. And if I do, and I love it that much, I'll just go back and repurchase it. Sometimes you do hear that fragrances will be discontinued. So in the event that you ever hear that, you just wanna make sure that you go out and stock up on it before you know you can't find it anymore. But this one here is a beautiful fragrance. It's everyday, it's an easy reach, it's classy, it's fresh, it's sophisticated. I reach for this a lot. It's just one of those that puts you in a good mood. It's kind of a mood lifter as well. It makes you happy and at the same time it's very you know long-lasting like I said a good six and a half seven hours you don't have to over spray it's a very fresh clean type of fragrance so you for it to be a fresh clean type of fragrance they normally don't last that long but this one really gets on the body holds it tight and it doesn't let it go so I would recommend Mew Mew and this would be from our affordable fragrances and this is called Le Bleu and I believe that means fresh water I could be making that up <laughs> But it is called Le Bleu, and it's by Mew Mew. I move on. This next one would be, is that, those are for summer, you guys. That was summer, okay? Now we're at fall. Winter, spring, summer, fall. We are at fall. I would reach for Grizz Charnel by BDK, and I hear that they have come out with an extreme version that should be releasing here soon, and I cannot wait. The dent in this fragrance, okay? This is how you know when I really love something. I haven't had it very long. It's an amazing fragrance. It's so super sexy. It has fig, it has cardamom. It's just a very sexy, sensual uh, date night. That's what it is, girl. Just tell the truth. This one is sexy, okay? This one is sexy, and when it's sexy, it hits different. It just does. This is a very oriental fragrance, you guys. It has some vetiver, some sandalwood, some tonka bean. Oh my God, I put on this list, you can't see it. It is set at XC. It is good, good. It is about that life. It's that nightlife. It's that dusk to dawn. It's that can you stay over for the week? Can you just move in? Can we just get married? Don't don't think you're gonna buy this and that's gonna happen. I'm just saying that's the vibes that it gives me. It is super super good, and that is BDK Grizz Charnel. I move on. Okay, here you can't be falling. <laughs> All my curls are gone. Okay. Girl, I am not good with curling hair. That's why I do straight. Anyways, um, we don't have time for it. Affordable fragrance, okay, affordable in my opinion. You can pick it up at Sephora. You can pick up a small bottle as well, just to help with saving on a few dollars, a few coins. Would be YSL Leap, of course. Put some beautiful bottles on your vanity, on your counter, on your shelf, wherever you store your fragrances. Hopefully in a secure, dark, dry area away from the sun away from any big windows away from the bathroom where you have the lights on when you store your fragrances away from those areas it helps them to preserve and keep their shelf life a tad bit longer fragrances do expire i know some of you like to tell so they do i've had some that have done so I move on. Anyways, back to YSL Lead. This is the intense version, you guys. I talked to you a lot about the original. This has lavender, orange blossom. It has vanilla, vetiver. It is sexy, tonka bean, ambergris. It is very long lasting. This fragrance actually suffocated me, okay? One day I put it on, it was like way too hot to be wearing it. And you know, I spray heavy 8, 10, 25 sprays. That's just what she does over here, okay? I put this on. And all day I was like, oh my gosh, like, am I enough already? You know, it was so in your face and it was just like, calm down. This was purring like nobody's business. So if you're looking for something for fall and it's really cold where you live and you're looking for something that's gonna stand the test of time, I would definitely say give YSL Leap Intense a try. I did try the original. You already know if you've been watching the channel, it was not my favorite. The lavender note in there was just way too pronounced for me. But in this particular one, I feel that the vanilla note is overpowering and it tones down, it tones down the lavender note a bit. It was just too much, you know what I mean? It was, it just wasn't given what the people said it was supposed to have given or gave. I didn't get it. So anyways, I went with this one. And that is it, you guys. That is my list of 
four for four, four different fragrances for four different seasons, okay? I love these type of videos. I find them to be helpful. If there's any other videos that you would like to see, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. You already know what I'm gonna ask you. Drop your sin of the day, and I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Do not forget, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, what are you waiting for? Make sure you come over and follow me over on Instagram. I love connecting with you over there as well. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous. Dwellings, thanks for watching. Bye.